Hey guys, it's March the 13th and we're out here in uh, Eastern Canada's winter wasteland. It's cold as hell and windy out here today. You can see uh, I'm down here in this hole just to show you guys how deep the snow is out here. Anywhere that we go off trail, uh, off the road, you're gonna, there's at least two feet of snow underneath us. So um, we're out here testing today our new toy. We've got a uh, Yeti, Yeti track system. It's not one of our three wheelers. That's one of our three wheelers. That's a 1986 Honda Big Red. Is it basically one of our three wheelers? But it has yeah, a... and we've modified it into basically a skidoo using this thing called a Yeti track system. So let's go over. I'm going to show you guys this thing. This is awesome. It's a toy from the 1980s. It's so cold right now. And oh, I just fell in my dad's hole. This thing's pretty rare. They haven't sold these for years because, of course, the Honda Big Red three-wheelers they haven't sold since 1987. So if you look on the front end here, guys, it comes with a ski that has a shock down here. And uh, it comes up and it bolts right here where your tire rod would come through. This is where this here comes and bolts on. And it also clamps up here for stability on your forks. And then you have your regular suspension up here. Unfortunately, I got a, a busted boot there. But uh, you have your suspension here and your suspension there with the ski. So that's what uh, floats the front end. And then the uh, track itself. Come on back here, buddy. Your rear axle bolts into these hubs on either side of the track back here. And there's a chain that runs down here, a big sprocket and a chain. And that's all that powers this thing. So you have uh, four bearings, one here, one on the other Wait. side, and another two bearings down in here, and one what chain. What's the Yeti say? <laughs> What's the Yeti Raw, say? Raw, leave it long. <laughs> awesome. So back up a little bit, buddy, and show this thing. When you mount it on, uh, your machine sits right up on top of it. It gives you one wide, long track that uh, keeps you from ever bottoming out in the snow. The only other thing I'll show is right here on the front, there's a strap now that hooks on to your frame here that keeps the front of this from ever dipping down too low. That just kind of holds it up uh, so that it doesn't just free float there. Anyways, we're going to show you guys now a little bit of footage of us out driving it. We'll test it and break some trail and see how this does. Yeah, you just pause it. for a sec, bud. Bye. So here we go guys, there we go. so you're coming down, now the logging road here has been groomed, if you look up ahead here you can see where other vehicles have passed, I'm going to take you off the trail so you can see where there's several feet of snow and we'll break trail here a little bit. to the opposite side that you're turning. So I lean way out here on the foot peg, put weight on this side of the track so that it will turn over this way to the left. But right? Dad, I felt so like I was gonna way. fall because I know it's not enough and hold All right, you ready? We're just gonna make the turn here. So that's the Yeti track system, guys. You've seen it drive a little bit. That got a little bit fast there. I was getting freaked out. I'll start up once more before we're done our video uh, at the end of this year, just so Leo can drive by. Guys, 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 I'm sorry. That's okay, we still on? Are we still on? Is the camera upside down? 
I think so. Is the camera? Let's see, buddy. Is it upside down, guys? There. Try there. from there. Yeah, I think it's... All right. Up. Sorry about that, guys. We had a little drop. <laughs> uh, we're going to drive by Leo here in a second, just so that you guys can see the thing in motion driving by. Uh, anybody who drives a three-wheeler, they know in the winter time, if you get any amount of snow, it's very hard to go anywhere. Your wheels are going to spin out, and even, like, here's off the trail, you'd be done for. Even on the groom trail, if you take your three-wheeler out in these conditions, you're always worried about dropping through any of the hard pack, like the frozen sections or whatever, and getting down into loose snow and spinning and bottoming out. So you'd never try this usually uh, out here with a three-wheeler in this type of condition. This thing is awesome. Uh, it's not as fun as a skidoo in terms of speed and stuff like that and handling. It's obviously a very rough version of a snowmobile, but it gets you around a lot of places. And uh, if you do get stuck, if the ski goes down in the snow, you just have to put it in reverse and this track will backwards over just about anything. So Leo and I already had this dove down in about two feet of snow uh, yesterday and we hit reverse and backed out of it and the thing hauled right back up onto the trail where we could keep going. Yep. So I think it's going to get us a lot of places in the winter time. Awesome machine. I'll start it up and just drive by to show you guys. Oh my god. Here we go! Get us a neutral here. Ah uh, shoot. Maybe pause for a sec buddy. I gotta get us a neutral and this thing doesn't shift well. Bye. Hello. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks, like and subscribe everybody. Bye. Bye. Leave a list time. Bye.